Hydrolab sampling. Remove the cap containing the pH 4 solution. Then place the solution in the provided bottle. Then place sensor cap on Hydrolab, making sure that it's secured tightly. Then drop your Hydrolab to your desired depth, making sure that there are no kinks in the line, as this can disrupt your sensor reading. The line has half meter increments. Once at desired depth, look at sensor screen. You can look at different parameters, such as specific conductivity, pH, DO, and temperature. Once you have recorded the data on your data sheet, then bring the HydroLab up. Take off the sensor cap. And then place the storage cap containing the pH4 solution back on the HydroLab. And you're done. Thank you, Savannah. Using the light meter. Be sure to take off the cap off of your light meter before you drop it. Place the light meter on the sunny side of your boat or dock. When at desired depth, Look at your sensor screen and then place that data on your data sheet. Pretty easy, huh? A tube sampler consists of a PVC pipe with a rubber ball attached to a rope with a handle. To use it, you simply drop it into the water to your desired depth at the side of the tube sampler. When at your desired depth, pull up the rope and therefore the ball. Then you pull up the tube sampler, being sure to hold the rope tightly, and then release the rope, and you got in your bucket. Secchi discs are used to measure light transparency in water. Be sure before you're using your Secchi disc to take off your sunglasses, and be sure that you're using your Secchi disc on the shady side of your boat or dock. Now place your Secchi disc into the water. At the level in which you can't see it anymore, take that measurement or depth. Then raise it up to the level where you can see it and take that measurement. Now we're going to learn how to use a zooplankton net. Now lower the zooplankton net carefully into the water, making sure to keep it vertical. Then Put the ring at the level of the water. That's your starting point. Then lower it down to your desired depth. Then bring it back up slowly and carefully. Then bring it about halfway up and then bring it back down again, but don't let the ring go below the water then you can bring it all the way up. Then take the latches off the cap. And pour it into a container.
Then, rinse out the cap with pond water two times. Then, pour that water through a 60 micron sieve. You can use your fingers to tap the excess water out. This may take a while, but be patient. and be sure to rinse out the container you were using earlier with pond water, and also run that through the sieve. Also, rinse out the sieve with pond water, making sure you get all the critters off the side. Get out as much water as you can. Then use a tube with a funnel to get your sample. And rinse out the sieve with ethanol, both the front and the back. Then rinse out the funnel, also with ethanol. And there be your sample.